Hi one, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, if William Ruto is not aware that Kenyans hate him with passion, then someone should tell him this information. And this hatred has been evidently clear through the manner in which Kenyans are developing hatred towards his appointees. Imagine you are the president, you appointed the cabinet, then when some of your ministers get somewhere to address Kenyans, they are heckled, they are rejected, they are booted. That is what is going on in this country. That alone is enough to tell William Ruto that Kenyans are tired with him. They are rejecting his cabinet the same way they are rejecting him equally. So the other day, someone would say, why am I saying so? For those who remember, we saw the energy sees Davis Chirchiri being heckled in Bomet. And I shared that video here. That is energy sees. And the other time it was Kipchumba Morkomen again in Rift Valley. So imagine a minister getting to his own region. But you are being rejected, rejected by your own people who speak same language with you. Same mother tongue. So yesterday, again, William Ruto's CS was embarrassed. And that is in Kitui East. The East Africa community CS Penina Malonza was heckled by mourners when he tried to address them in an attempt to defend William Ruto as far as global trotting. I'm a quarterly tourist, Mutali. And I end everywhere. And then as far as the issue of cost of living is concerned, that Ruto is going outside to bring money to sort out the issue of high cost of living. I listened to Penina Malonzo and I asked myself, is Penina Malonzo, Malonzo really in her senses? This can be some of the reasons why she lost in the election. The manner in which she attempted to defend Ruth is not selling. You can't defend a liar. You can't defend an oppressor. The people of Kitui, the Kamba community, has rejected Penina Malonza, and that is by extension rejection of William Samway Ruto. Just watch the drama as, in, as it unfolds in the funeral. Drama Maisha Iko Ju, Ata Raisi Anailewa. Now we are continuing with this final discussion, but just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, you know, there is something that did my brother a man elected on UDA ticket said in an interview. And this was in reference to Uhuru Kenyatta that 
it is no longer fashionable to use Uhuru Kenyatta's name to keep on mentioning him, to keep on putting a blame on Uhuru Kenyatta as far as the fail of this government is concerned. It is no longer fashionable. Didmas Barada was right. But Penina Malonza, Nikama Hana Maskio, has key. She attempted to do the, the same thing. And what is she saying? That William Ruto found empty coffers. So he needed to be given more time to sort out the mess. That Uhuru emptied everything. This is a lie. And what did Masparada said has manifested in Kitui East. People are rejecting to put a blame on Uhuru Kenyatta as far as the failures of this government to sort out cost of living is concerned. No one will buy into this. So if Ruto is not aware, Mutu Amfikishia Habari. Yakwamba, his cabinet ministers have been rejected by the people whom they are not they are supposed to serve. And the reason is that these ministers are coming out in an attempt to defend a liar. So it is clear no one is going to buy into any topic about defending Ruto. Just say the truth. I think if Malonza was truthful to power, she would have not experienced the heckling. Boeing is all about trying to defend a liar, trying to defend an oppressor. Kenyans have realized that William Ruto is oppressing them. He has no any good plan with them. The only plan he has is to make them dry through the policies he's putting in place, through the type of finance bill he's forcing members of parliament to vote for, and every means of collecting taxes. He's focused on that, and that is where he's scoring nicely as far as oppressing poor, less fortunate Kenyans in this country. What wanna say, Mapana? Watch your manen. Stop it. How can you explain to Kenyans the value that Ruto has brought into this country as far as his numerous trips is concerned? What benefit has he brought back to Kenya? Where people can feel that indeed there is something. You know, when you bring something into the country, people will feel it. They can see. Instead, the only thing he come back with every time he get out is on how to increase taxes on everything. Anambia wa Kenya ati kuna mbula likuwa ndaka kuangeza beja kitambolisho. Arafu ruta kakata. Simunana nifanya vizuri. Nonsense. This is too cheap. Penina Malonza is attempting to lie like his boss. Who brought the issue of increasing the uh, charges on government services as far as certificate and other things is concerned. Alikuwa nan. The interior ministry. Who gave that? Okay, it is Ruto. Uwezi ya muka leo uambia wa Kenya watanipa kitambulisa shilingi elf moja without the knowledge of the president in the state house. Haiweza Khan. Unless if Penina Manoza is telling us that executive is under capture. That there is someone controlling Ruto. Unless he is saying so. So people cannot buy into that lie. Ati walikuwa nao kupandisha beja kitambulisho mwishimua Ruto wakakuja akasema wasipandisha. So you want us to clap? We will chase you. This should never happen. If every time Ruto gets out, he come back, he is increasing taxes. Nakuja na sama kitambulisho nilipo hivi. Passport nilipo hivi. Certificate nilipo hivi. House levy, they are trying to fix it and bring it back again. They want to increase it. So, he is listening to IMF and World Bank more than he listened to the taxpayer who is also the electorate. 
That's why Kenyans are not willing to listen to the lies coming from William Ruto's appointee. They're saying no. This is serious. If Ruto is not aware, let him continue sleeping and globetrotting. Kabla kuja kugundua, the entire cabinet will be rejected. And the good thing is that these ministers are being rejected in their own home. Ingekuwa hii nafanyika, penina malonza ameenda nyanza. Na ifanyika hivo, ingekuwa tofauti kidogo. Ama, amekuja western, ingekuwa tofauti kidogo. Or in Nairobi or coast region. But if this one is happening in Rift Valley, tutashanga, atumeshanga. Kepichuba Morocco men, chiri chiri. But again, if it is happening in Kitui, Akamba, leader addressing the Kamba community, but she is being rejected in her own home. That's why you are not She has no any political mileage that she is bringing to the table to boost William Ruto's political stability. Hana, pure rejection. Kipchumba cannot control home. David Chirichir has no political value that is bringing on table. Beside bringing forward all plan and policies that mean to oppress poor Kenyans. Wa Kenya wote ni maskini, hatuna kitu. So people are tired of promises. People are not willing to listen to liars. They are not interested in it. People who come to defend oppressors. And the Penina Malonza has been served with the best lesson she can learn from the people. You cannot sustain lies for long. It is so much expensive to sustain a lie. leo kesho na kesho kutwa. Again, it is expensive to sustain a lie. So, these ministers must be rejected by the people. Kitunya has served a good example, and it should be more than this. How watu wa ata wafukuzo wa situkuja kutuambia uongo wafukuzo tu. We are not interested in lies. Ruto has failed, people have lost their jobs. We are losing so much. And life has become so much expensive. The shilling is losing value against dollar. It is depreciating every time, but they have no any better explanation of this. Anakopa na nisema hata kopa. Why did the work of 16% that is taxing Kenyans, if it's going out and then they come back with loans, which we need again to pay? What value is that loan adding to us? Where is any tangible development that Ruto has done with this loan that is coming out with? Amekuja na maloni mingi. Zero development. But instead what we are seeing, it is tax after tax. Tax after tax. This cabinet has been rejected.